Okay, so recently some things have come up and that that has kind of changed the trajectory of what I'm going to be doing for videos uh, for the foreseeable future. The whole point of this video is to teach you guys how to ration things. Look at the back of the bag or the back of the box, wh whatever it is, and see how many calories per serving there are and how many servings there are. And you, you just... The very simple way to do it is to multiply the number of servings by the number of calories and then you know how many how many calories you need per day this bag of, of lentils is it's 13 servings and it's 100 calories per serving so that's 1300 calories now normally that wouldn't be a lot of calories to eat for a whole day but we're gonna ration that we're gonna combine it with the this big bag of brown rice that we have. We're gonna combine it with these, these noodles uh, we, we have here. Or this canned uh, crushed tomatoes we have here. Or we'll combine it with this toilet paper we have here, if it comes down to it. I don't think everyone's going out buying toilet paper just to have it as toilet paper. I think some people are thinking this is gonna be food. I ran out and got toilet paper because everyone else was getting toilet paper, but it's not like toilet paper is that important unless there's something I don't know about toilet paper. And the thing I probably don't know about toilet paper is maybe it's food. This isn't a lot, I'm realizing. This isn't a lot when I'm adding it all up. This might be four days of food, but if I'm rationing and I'm rationing properly, this is four to eight days worth of food because you also have to think about like, uh, we're not gonna be eating as much food as we're used to. We're gonna be also like, we're gonna be living off of stored fat. But if you're very skinny uh, because you wanted to look cool, um, sorry, that's not, uh, that's not gonna do you any good. So you just, you really should have, you should have gotten you should have gotten a nice base of food because like you think about it like every every pound of fat is 3500 calories so that's like two days worth of food if you're not eating anything else if you're eating other things that that might be four days of food if you're like if you eat if you eat a thousand if you eat a thousand calories of food and you burn a thousand calories of of, of, of what you've already got going on then um you got a full meal for for the day, for the day so my plan is to have a thousand calories per day of uh food food and then have a thousand calories per day of uh, bread food which, which is which i've been saving up because you know you you never know what's going to happen and it's just safer to be fat the other thing you got to think about is your food to poop ratios. How much can I eat that's gonna result in using a certain amount of toilet paper? You wanna balance that out. I only have 12 sheets for me today. So that means I can only have one or two meals. You, you know what I'm saying? It also depends on what your diet is because uh, I think a lot of people are gonna see that uh, their diets have changed. Like, okay. <laughs> Dried beans. Do you usually eat dried beans? No, you never eat dried beans. And you know what's in dried beans? It's fiber. And fiber makes you use more toilet paper. You should have like a spreadsheet of the things you have, what you're going to eat, how fat you are, and then how much toilet paper you have to compensate for, for all of these things. This is the short term. This is the short term that I'm talking about so far. Like the next two weeks, we're gonna have to be thinking about clearing out our cupboards with dry things. And then after that, if things become worse, we're gonna have to think about like uh, out in the open. If the, Okay, let's say, let's say they close all the supermarkets, they close all the stores, they close the airports, they close everything. And that's something that's very possible that they're just gonna, it, it, everything is going to shut down forever. And uh, if that is the case, you're gonna have to start thinking about like what, 
vegetation is in the area that I can eat, what wildlife is in the area that I can eat. Certainly there are bears and wolves that you can hunt down and eat in uh, most areas. In other areas, you might have a uh, fish. Another thing you can do is save up some semen, which doesn't, that's not something you would normally think of, but in this time, it's like, that's, that's some extra calories. Okay, so let's do a little quick math here. If every time you ejaculate, it is like, it's 10 calories. A normal person ejaculates maybe five times a day. That's halfway to a snack. So save your semen. Okay, so I'm probably going to do a few more videos about this, about the coronavirus and uh, what you can do about it. So let me know in the comments like other things you want to know or other advice you might want. And I will get back to you probably in the next video, probably very soon, because this is like one of those things that's like it's you kind of got to keep doing stuff about it. Uh, well, it's happening. Anyway, uh, you know, good, good luck to everyone out there. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.